Hi, my name is Glenn Villar, and you're here in my Visual Facts Pro tutorial series. In this series, I'm going to teach you how to uh, create programs for database applications. But we're gonna do, be doing that in uh, in a series where we will tackle each uh, um, each uh, part of the tutorials one by one. We will begin by introducing the Visual Facts Pro IDE to making a complete program or making a complete project file. For now, let's begin by touring the Microsoft Visual Facts Pro IDE. Microsoft Visual Facts Pro IDE, I mean my, my own Microsoft Visual Facts Pro application can run on, Visual, uh, on Windows 98, XP, and Microsoft Windows Vista. We're going to use the Microsoft Visual Facts Pro 9. Okay, let's start. Okay, perfect. So, as you can see, we what we have here is the empty space here. What we call the empty space is the workspace, the command window, and the toolbars and the menu bars. The title bar is in here. The command window is the window where we're going to type our console commands and immediately after executing it, we can readily see the output. Clicking on below it on the property, we're going to, we can see here the, oh, it's part about that. We can see here the properties for forms, for classes, or any objects of Visual Facts Pro IDE. What we have here is the categorized for data, methods, layouts, others, favorites, and all the properties combined. Okay. Using the command window. Command window, as I've said earlier, is where we're going to put our we're going to put our console commands and immediately the Immediately, the output will be seen on the workspace on the left side. Let's try uh, issuing a command that will show the current time of the system. Print time. Let's see. Immediately after I enter the press, uh, I mean I press the enter key, the the output is immediately shown on the left side of the ID of Visual Facts Pro. Okay, let's leave it that for a while. And I'm gonna teach you now how to build, I mean, how to make your own new project. Click File, select New. We're going to be presented with different objects here, and we're gonna just be selecting the project and so clicking the new file. By default, Microsoft Visual Facts Pro Projects is directed to the Microsoft Visual Facts Pro Projects folder, which is under the documents. Okay, so for a while let's rename this project as first project. Then click save. Okay, this is our project manager. Here we can see everything about our new project. We have the old categorized, I mean the categorized, and this is the old combined. This is the, the, the tab for data, the documents, classes, code, and other. The data is where you can see all your databases and tables all together. Also, the views and the queries can also be seen here. In the documents, you can see all the forms, reports, that we're going to be using in your project. Classes is where you can inst uh, store all your classes all together. And the code for uh, for your uh, pro functions and your programs. Okay, let's begin by creating a new program. Okay. Maximize it. We're just going to we're just going to uh, 
set some example here. I mean, set some few commands that is uh, basic to Visual Paths for IDE. Set echo of set console of set dot of. Or rather, we just we just have to raise the two, and let's just put the set up of for a while. Okay. When you do a program, a project for Visual Facts Pro, Visual Facts Pro project, we'll, we're going to be uh, we're going to need a a new program file or the main file. It won't be able to be compiled unless you specify a main file for your Visual Facts Pro project. In this case, I'm going to use a PRG file as our main file. Okay, save it and put some name on it. For best practice, I mean, for best practice, it is, it is always good to store your PRG files into a separate folder. In this case, I'm going to name it Programs and I'm going to name it Name. Okay, perfect. We have a new main program for our project. Right click on it and see it's always be going to be the default for uh, each pro first project to have a main program. So next for that is we're going to execute it to test our project. Run. As you can see nothing has happened, right? Because the main project contains nothing but just a set up of command. Okay, we're gonna try writing something to it. Let's say message box which will display a message to the user. Message box hello hello world. Okay the most important thing you should be remembering when you are programming with visible paths well is to use is to always beautify your code. You can do that by just pressing out T and selecting Y, then press enter. Okay, close it, save, and then let's try running it. Okay, that's our first program for the day, and this is my tutorial.